Okay, I would like to introduce you to the newest baby in the Dojo Derby vehicle family. So this, this I think might actually be a product. So basically my idea, my, my question here is what product are we going to use to sell authority-less, gatekeeper-less, free-to-end user technology education, right? There's the idea, there's the technology, and then there's the, the product, the platform. And I really like the idea of the Dojo Derby vehicles because we have a full, this is a Raspberry Pi, but it's a full quad-core processor with four gigs of RAM, has a full Wi-Fi stack, Bluetooth stack, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, basically uh, for, for coding, it has a full lamp stack on there with a php it also has python so basically the thing is is we can learn uh to use technology we can use to learn python we can learn php we can learn ajax we can learn all kinds of stuff c sharp and all that kind of stuff uh basically by building uh little vehicles to race them around or do do, 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 do demolition derby vehicles or, or that kind of thing right um and so we're getting close to the final product uh, originally originally this this was the first uh prototype for the dojo derby vehicle uh, pretty good uh, by and large. The only issue is you actually have to cut everything out. You have to have a table saw to cut it out. Uh, the screen here is bit pretty big, so it's a little awkward, right? It's not. It's not really small, and it's not really neat just kind of medium size and awkward so i had this idea like well what if i create something bigger so this is the vehicle that i have with the uh, the turret on it I was like i'll create a bigger vehicle this will give us more space in order to implement technology uh the problem we ran into is the heavier you make these vehicles um you know surprise surprise the harder it is for these little electric wheels to move the vehicle around so the problem is is this vehicle is very awkward to move around and wouldn't be great for a lot of situations so i was sitting there thinking okay well we need something a hell of a lot lighter, which means we need something smaller, but you know, we have this big old screen. So this is our, uh, troubleshooting screen gives us a lot of information here, but this screen is so big. How, how could we use this size body with a screen? And then I thought, well, why don't we get rid of this screen that size and get an OLED screen? So this is a tiny little OLED screen. So now uh, we have the, uh, with the Raspberry Pi, we have the H bridge, we have the OLED screen. Uh, we have the, uh, the motors that are down there. We have the power supply, we have the webcam. So this basically, this ends up being the full, the full product. I think this is a, again, I think we're getting close to actually having something, uh, you know, that we can say, hey, look, this is what Dojo Derby is about. Um, again, so we're using uh, the same interface and everything that we coded for before. So all these basically use the same interface. Um, as you can see, we got the, the webcam going on. So we have the real-time webcam. Uh, we have the JavaScript, uh, you know, uh, control mechanism here. Uh, so I can sit here and uh, let's see here, I can put it on speed one. And then I can go over here and tell it to go forward. And uh, see, look at that. I have all that kind of control. And that's really nifty neat. And the cool part is, um, basically, as long as you get Wi-Fi, this is connected to the Wi-Fi thing, it'll keep working. So let me, uh, let me put this on the ground right for a second. Okay. So now it's there. <laughs> let me see if I can drive one-handed. Uh, and so we're going to drive it forward. And then we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna turn it, forward, duck. Turn around, duck. Forward, duck. Turn around, duck. Uh, backwards, duck. Isn't that cool? I think that's an FDM. So we get all that kind of control of the little thing. And then what I can do is again, since it has that webcam on there, uh, we can try to drive this thing. The, uh, the camera is not aimed properly, <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes. Oh yeah, well there we go. So we're going out. Going into my basement. There you go. Yeah, see, so even with the, the crappy aiming of the camera, I'm able to navigate this thing around. Uh, okay, so we're at speed slow. I'm gonna kick it up to speed fast. See how fast it is on this thing. Oh, oh a little fast. <laughs> this might actually be a little fast. Oh, look at that thing. It's zipping along. It is zipping. Oh, ah. Okay, maybe we, maybe we actually need to slow this one down. So it's actually so light and so small. Um, it's actually a little too fast for what we're doing. I think there's some network issues right here. Got to work on that. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're navigating back. Ah, navigating back. There we go. There we go. Yeah, maybe there's a weird Wi-Fi dead spot. Again, Wi-Fi propagation, the kind of thing you have to think about whenever you're doing Dojo Derby. It's not just about racing your fancy car. Oops, yeah. 
It's about understanding how uh, Wi-Fi signals work, too. There we go. See? Now it's down there. Uh, nope. Uh, ah! Oh, anyway, well, let's back it up. Back it up. There we go. So, anyways. I think this is cool. And I think... I think we might be getting close to something. I think I think we might be... I think we might be getting close to something really kind of cool. So anyways, again, all the code, all the instructions, everything will go up shortly. I'm still, obviously, as you can see, I'm still troubleshooting and building everything out. But I think this is pretty freaking nifty neato cool. So, uh, so yeah, anyways, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the Dojo Derby.